Alright guys, welcome back. We're continuing on the fancy glow effect that I was doing earlier. Um, and if you were reading along with me in the last one, you realize that we now need to make a third one. Only this time it has to be... The red line has to be... I think... Hang on a sec. Yeah, it's 12... Yeah, it's 12 pixels thick. And we go stroke path. Now it's 12. I keep doing that. New layer. Stroke. Filters. Blur. Not motion blur. I accidentally clicked on that. Filters. Blur. Gaussian. Oh my gosh. I can get it, I can get it. I got it! Yay for me! Um, gosh, and blur by 12, and, like, once I get to the other part of the line, I'm not gonna go any further. You guys should know how to blur out the lines. And this time, we make it... Gosh, and blur the thing by that, and then go filters, blur, gosh, and blur, and blur it by 3. And so, um, <sighs> so yeah, once you, um, I want you to fade out the ends, but once you fade out the ends, I'm going to show you this other thing, because it's thicker, it'll be more of a challenge to fade out the ends, and I'll come back once I've done that. Alright guys, now that you've added your final line, what we need to do is we, um, it doesn't quite fade out as well, because it's thicker, and so what we need to go is go filters, distorts eye warp yay for eye warp <sighs> whoops and then add layer mask apply layer mask on this one anyway and then go filters distorts eye warp you don't need to on the other ones and then what you need to do is select shrink then take the deform amount and set it on 10 or rather I should say point 10 then what you do phone's ringing. One moment, please. Then what you do is you kind of pick a point right around here. And not quite at the bend, not quite too far down, and just go stroke, and do the same on the other end. Kind of do that twice so you get this little whipping effect. So yeah, it should look better. And if you need to, you can apply that as many times as you want until it looks good. So I've got my effect where I'd like it, and we're going to go on to the next step. Now we're going to go on to the next step. Set your color to white by any means you feel like. Make a new layer on top of everything else. Check the paintbrush tool. Select fuzzy circle 15, and then put the scale all the way up to 10. And just draw three dots. Boom. So you have this kind of blurry blotch right there. Then what you do is you take circle 13, the very w next one down, and just get rid of that zero in there. And then just draw some white dots, random places. Make sure they don't overlap. So you have these little white dots right there. Then you go filters, distorts, ripple, and we're almost going to do what we did before. Leave them on default settings so it kind of goes like that. We're almost going to do what we did with the background. Then we go up to filters, distorts, whirl, and pinch and leave the settings on 360. So it goes like whoosh, kind of swirls in like that. Once you've got that already, you go over to the layer, you duplicate it once, and then you lock the pixels. Then we go over and choose that nice orangish red FD4000. Then what you can do is you can either take the fill bucket tool and just fill that in, or what you can do is you can drag the orange color. You should be able to drag it down anyway. Hmm. Anyway, just fill it in with that. Then you unlock transparent pixels. Then what you do is you go filters, blur, Gaussian blur, you blur it by 
around 24. So you've got this kind of glowy effect. Duplicate that one once and then move the white layer up to the top. Hmm. Mine's being weird. It won't let me move stuff. So you should have this kind of glow in effect. And all right, your image is done. Congratulations, you. You just made this really fancy whatever. <laughs> um, um, thank you. Um, I'm going to show you our fun finished image in a little bit. All right, guys. Here is your finished image. At least it should be. If you uh, if you guys didn't see that, I'll adjust it so that it fills your screen. Apparently, guys, it doesn't want us to let us um, zoom in on that. So, anyway, here's your finished image. Hurrah, huzzah. Looks kind of pixelated up this close, but anyway. Hope you guys had a good time. Subscribe if you liked it. Um, don't if you don't. And this has been Dark um, Illusionist on Gipno Howl's website and Escape 9878 on YouTube. Thank you and goodbye.